for the last 10 years, my main career and pastime has been that of a, a poi dancer, uh, which some people might understand better if I said I was a, a fire dancer, which is sort of, you can think of as a circus art. But behind that is poi dancing, which is you take away the fire and it's this brilliant movement art form where you're, you know, you're dancing and you're sort of manipulating movement and flow of energy through these weights on the ends of strings. So it's kind of like uh, juggling meets dance meets Tai Chi. And it's a brilliant art form and lots of people around the world are enjoying this as something like practicing a martial art, but uh, without getting kicked in the head. So it's great fun. And sometimes I'll, I'll joke with people that the reason I do the poi dancing and the fire spinning is that I can't sing. Uh, it's, you know, that's somewhat just being cheeky, it's just, um, but there's some truth to it because I, I do, I feel that impulse. But I don't have a lot of natural ability with, with hitting notes, which can, is considered often to be an important part of singing. Enough that I would be very embarrassed and you know, that makes it harder and then you seize up and your throat clenches and all of this. See, I was good at movement. It was sort of the opposite of singing. Singing I was naturally had a lot of trouble with and got negative feedback from people. With dancing, movement, any of this, I was naturally good at and got all this positive feedback. You know, bravo, way to go, oh look at Nick, he can do it. By one of the things I learned in getting sort of quite good at an art form is that it actually doesn't make you happy, right? So I got by, you know, fire dancing standards, so I got very good at fire dancing. As I got better, it never got more or less fun. I mean, the, lear the learning process is fun. In fact, when I finally had really achieved a certain kind of high level, so to speak, it got less fun because then, well, then what do you do? And I was saying, I miss when I was when I was new at it. And you could, in a week, you could learn something new. And now I've begun to put time thinking, oh, I should I should do more things that I'm bad at. <laughs> I should I should I should learn to sing anyway, even though I'm I'm bad at it. I, although I don't want to like make people nauseous or make them uncomfortable and I don't want to ruin the choir. And I've decided that I'll just take really little baby steps. And all I want is get good enough that I can sing with people without, you know, kind of ruining what's going on. I probably can't be a virtuoso ever. My resonance, my ability to hit notes, any of my technical singing will never be a high standard. But uh, what I've learned is that it doesn't matter. I teach poi, that's how I make my living. I've taught thousands of people to do this. There's been a few, just a few, who despite the fact that they were slow at learning it, remained happy with the learning process. And, and dedicated and enthusiastic and they would just keep trying and trying and trying. Four weeks into learning, when they finally get the, the move that, you know, they've wa that, that they watched other people get in four days, and when they finally get it, they're so happy. And they're, they're going, I can do it, look, 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 I, yay! And they think it's so great. They don't care how fast they're learning it. And this, to me, is one of, one of the greatest things you can be capable of as a human being. It's really the thing that I, that I want to be able to do, but I can't do it with poi, because poi I was good at. Singing can be something where I can, I can try to be like that. So that's, that's my current, that's my current uh, goal. Then I can be part of the great song, even if I'll be in the back somewhere. <laughs>